Top 7 Minecraft Tips and Tricks Definitive Guide to Becoming a Professional Hello lovely YouTube family! Welcome back to Smoothcraft! In today's videos, we are going to talk about Top 7 Minecraft Tips and Tricks Definitive Guide to Becoming a Professional Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. In just a few years, Minecraft has become one of the world's most popular games, mainly by word of mouth and despite the lack of a big marketing budget. Already a hot topic of conversation in the playground, Minecraft has also moved into the classroom as teachers increasingly find ways to use the game for educational purposes. Minecraft is often described as a sandbox game. This means that it's a virtual land where users can create their own worlds and experiences, using building blocks, resources discovered on the site, and their own creativity. The game is available on multiple platforms. You can play on a computer, smartphone, tablet, Pi, Xbox, Nintendo Wii, or PlayStation. It is growing in popularity day by day, especially among primary aged children. Why is Minecraft so popular? Since its release in 2009, Minecraft has quickly become one of the most popular games in the world. As an indie game built by a very small team, Minecraft's success isn't down to massive resources or a carefully planned advertising strategy. So what explains its popularity with children? Minecraft has been described as a game with no rules. It doesn't come with a set of instructions or a stated objective. Players can build and explore however they want. It's often compared to virtual Lego. There are some tips and tricks for Minecraft as follows. 7. Obtaining coal without mining You know that you need to farm for a lot of things on Minecraft, be it resources or weapons of any kind. However, there's a way to acquire coal without even mining for it. You just have to make a furnace and smelt some logs, and voila, you have coal with you. The only downside of this technique is that you will not be able to make coal blocks, but it is still a good Minecraft trick if you want the coal. 6. Tweak the game setting for brightness. Some do, and some don't. And it is worth mentioning that you do not need to light up a torch in the game to see what's going on. By default, the game has a moody brightness setting, so you just have to change it to bright for a better vision. 5. Make an emergency shelter. When you're exploring the world, you will also encounter danger coming your way. Maybe it is dark out there, or maybe you are just alone in a very bad place. What do you do when you see enemies coming to attack you then? Of course, unless you have the firepower to fight back. You can simply start digging three blocks down and then put a block above you to keep yourself safe. Well, this is the fastest and the most efficient way. If you have more time, you can make sure that you have a torch with you and enough space to place a bed or anything that you deem necessary. 4. Zombie Proof Ready I don't have to mention it, but we gamers are born ready to handle a zombie apocalypse. However, when it comes to Minecraft, it is a bit different. You may have a home, but is it zombie proof? A good option will be to make an iron door, but you don't need to do that necessarily. You can utilize a simple door and still keep away zombies from entering your house. You can place a block in front of the door or behind it, which will stop zombies from getting inside. In either case, you can also put a lava trap or something similar which will be the next thing zombies will encounter after breaking in the door. Or you can place sandbags as traps to fall when the door breaks, which will again prevent zombies from entering. 3. No compass, no problem. You do not need a compass to know the direction. It helps, but in the worst case scenario, you should know the trick to figure out the direction you are going in, or else you may get lost in the way. If you are on the Java Edition, you can get to know the directions by simply hitting the F3 button and checking the directions on the debug screen. If that is not the case, the crack on a block when you hit it will give you a reference. When hitting a block to mine, you will observe a crack, hit at least two of any blocks. There should be three cracks in that, one straight up, the second to the right, and the third is straight down. If you find the same pattern for multiple blocks there, the straight line points to the north direction. Accordingly, you can guess the other directions. 2. Peace, white flag. Do you want to just explore Minecraft? 
don't want zombies to attack you. Can you wave a white flag to make peace? Unfortunately, no. But you can do it by changing the difficulty to peaceful. So, no one will bother you. You can peacefully explore the beautiful world. 1. Motion Sensor When a mob comes around, you got to know about it. But how would you do that? You can set planks which they will cross before they come to you. And it will make noises of walking. However, you need to raise the volume to the maximum limit to easily detect the movement of mobs in your vicinity. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.